And I want to pull that up and I want to talk a little bit about New World because obviously New World has been a uh, – uh, it's been something I've been playing a lot recently. Uh, I've been getting into a lot recently. And I, I do want to talk a little bit about it. Some of the shit in New World, I'm going to be completely real with you guys, is not fucking ready for a next month release. It is so dysfunctional. It is so laggy. It is so broken. It is not ready. And I don't know what they're going to do. Because to be honest, I, I feel like a lot of the core issues with the game have not gotten fixed. Okay, so New World Closed Beta has been out for a couple of days now. Uh, I made a video before it came out and I said specifically, I'm not going to play a lot of the New World Closed Beta because I'm going to burn myself out if I do. And the game launches on the 31st of August, so I don't want to like put in a bunch of hours. And then the game comes out and I'm like, ah, you know, do I want to do that grind again? Do I want to spend that you know, 100 or so hours uh, doing the same things I did yeah. just recently, like less than a month ago. This game, unfortunately, just makes me want to play it. So I put in 25 hours in the two days that I played because I didn't play. <laughs> 25 hours. Oh, my God. What a fucking casual. Look at this. 182 hours. I have put in total into New World probably almost 40 hours already yesterday because i was in bed most of the day feeling pretty bad so i didn't get to play yesterday but in the two days i did get to play i played way more hours than i should have done i wasn't working i was hardly sleeping and yep, the game good. grabbed me and i can quantify why it did and why? the reason that it did is kind of sad and it's a sad indictment of the mmo genre new world feels like an mmo it does because that see shouldn't be something there. we should be saying about a game that should be baseline but i'm sorry it, it, it just is. It's one of those things. Mm -hmm. These games usually come out and they're masquerading as MMORPGs. They remove... That's why I like playing on streamer servers. Because everybody's there, everybody's hanging out, everybody's like just there together. I think that's fucking awesome, man. So many of the social features, they make you focus mostly on solo gameplay. And they work to an extent and you can appreciate them for being something else. But in the true sense of feeling like you're part of a world and part of a community and you can truly go and do things with people and feel rewarded for that and feel like there's these social ties and things like that, not a lot of these games do that well. A New World just does. It does. Uh, I'll it's great. say why for me it does. Trading is a big one. I'm fucking sick of these MMOs just removing a core social feature for some the reason why they get rid of trading is that they don't want to have to deal with bots. It's actually very simple. Well, you can't sell gold if you can't trade gold. Problem solved. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what, no, really, that's what, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, and it, honestly, like on my server, I'm going to say like New World, I, I'll show you all later on. This shit is fucked. Like, you can't, I, I, especially people can't trade me stuff. This drastically reduced my enjoyment of the game, okay? Like, in Windsward, on my server, you literally cannot do a trade. You cannot trade an item to another player. Because it just won't work. It, it, you click confirm, and it's like... Well, now what? Nothing. And so imagine what it's like now in the beta. This is the beta for the game. So imagine launch. There is going to be way more people playing. Way more fucking people playing. This is going to be an even bigger issue. And it comes out in a month. <laughs> that's just shifting the the responsibility exactly. from themselves as developers like that's admitting players. one thing we're just either too lazy or too incompetent to fix this problem or police it adequately both so we're just going to remove game features and yeah. that's a symptom of the issue of game design for a long time now and also add on to Can't that solve it remove i don't it. even think that's really the reason i i think if you re really read into that most of the games that remove trading sell their own currency in the cash shop which means that all they're doing is is removing the competition of RMT. And a lot of people come out and say like, oh, you know, removing trading is good because then it means RMT is not going to flourish. But then they ignore the fact that the, the game is... Well, as if, as if you cannot, as if there's a, there's a reality where you cannot possibly, could an individual ever imagine to endeavor 
towards the goal of potentially removing the people who break the terms of service from the game. Could you imagine removing the people and hiring people in a, and it feels good to say it, trillion dollar company? Selling their own currency in the cash shop anyway. And if you look at it from a logical position, uh, how many people are going to be affected by RMT versus how many people are going to be affected by, no by if it's legal to buy? Uh, obviously, yeah. way less, right? If it's RMT and you're getting banned for it and they're banning sellers and things, people are going to think, mm, is it really worth the risk to risk my whole account to buy some of that currency? Yep. Whereas if the company sells it, everybody does it, so it affects way more people and it's way worse for the game. It does. I think that's, that's objectively fair to say. And New World, thankfully... Amazon Game Studios, thank you guys. You've actually left trading in there. It's fantastic. It feels good. It shouldn't be something that we have to go so in-depth on saying like, oh, this is such a big deal. But frankly, it's a pathetic state of the MMO genre that we do have to. And it, it's... Yeah, we're going real backwards, okay? I'm going to say that. More like a multi-multi-dollar company. Yes, they have multiples of multi-dollars. And like what upsets me about this, right? Here's why I'm, here's why I'm, I'm, I'm upset about this situation is because I like New World. I don't know. Can you tell? I, between the two betas, I put 102, uh, 182 hours in this game. I love New World, and, and I don't want them to fuck it. Uh, add on to that, like, the additional social elements of you can just go anywhere in the world and do anything at any time with anybody, um, pr besides some of the instance content, maybe, which, of course, there's not that much of it yet. Yeah. The focus on the open world and being able to just go group up with your friends and to just go do stuff, speak to people with the VoIP, the proximity chat... It just feels good, man. It just it feels does. good. It feels like a social experience, which is what an MMO is designed to be. And yeah, I, I don't feel like these are things we should really have to praise, but it is an indictment of the genre that we it's do have. thank God you're not shitting on the floor now. That's where we're at with MMOs. Thank you for not shitting on the floor again. Have to, and this stuff, it just draws you into the world and it makes the game feel much better. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of like the mechanics of playing the game, I've been one of the biggest critics of this game over time, and I believe that most of my positions have been vindicated. The only one that I really think hasn't been vindicated yet is the cash shop, and we'll go over that yeah. a little bit in this video as well and how I feel about what's going on right now with the game design and how that's going to play into it. Mm -hmm. But just in general, the most of the things that I complained about when they were trying to release the game in early 2020, which hopefully most people can admit I was fucking bang on right about this, they've addressed almost everything that I was, I was talking about in those videos. They didn't have a direction before. They have a clear direction now. They didn't have content before. They have content. It's light, but it's less of a concern because they proved to us that within a year, they can add so much to the game and change the game so drastically that it's just a much better experience in pretty much every single way. Um, so all that, all that is like a lesser concern, the content stuff, that can come in time. What you should be looking at right now, because a lot of MMOs launch content light, it's just how it is, yeah. is how the core foundational elements play in together, how the game feels to play, things like that. And the content can come and will come. And so that's I not think that the core movement and attack patterns is just horse shit. Trying to have dodge based roles in a game with latency doesn't work. You have these dogs that like basically they move like you know how they have motion tracking for like these really really popular games like in god of war they have motion tracking for like you know kratos and shit the way they do motion tracking for new world as is as if they literally hired a crackhead and they put the motion trackers on him and they said go have fun if they took a deer on crack and cocaine at the same time and they said there we go. Let's track how this thing moves. That is the exact type of movement that deer have in New World. It is erratic. It is not consistent. It is uh, completely different speeds at different times randomly. They make random turns for no reason. It's dysfunctional. Like, this is the way. I'm just going to give you one little fucking get. Here, I'm going to explain. Here's the main story quest for New World, okay? All right, you start here. Yo, what up? I got the quest done? All right, cool. Okay, I'll go there. Oh, there's a mob I have to kill. 
Wait, it didn't respawn. Oh my God. And there's three of them? I have to wait four hours for one quest. And then finally, And this is sped up, by the way. I turn in a quest. Okay, I have to kill one thing. I go over there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I only hit it once. You need to hit it twice to tag it. I didn't get credit. I gotta do it again. It's horse shit. It needs to get fixed. It, it, it's just, it's horse shit. Like, they've actually devolved some systems in the game from last year. A massive concern for me, but they have added a bunch of content. There are a bunch of dungeons and stuff. Uh, I've not done any of the dungeons yet other than the one I did in the, in the uh, event that they allowed me to play in. And that was a little bit lackluster, and all the dungeons too are designed in the same way. Two boss, two boss, two boss, two boss, yeah. uh, which I would like to see a little bit different. I want to see expansive big dungeons, think like vanilla World of Warcraft, like um, Black Rock Depth, stuff yeah. like that. I want to see that stuff because that's one of the biggest, best things about this game is the design of it, the graphics, just how it looks, how you feel when you fit into these environments in your character and things, the aesthetic of it all. I just think it's really good. And one of the best things about this is obviously the world. The world of New World. True. I, I don't really have a bad word to say about it other than the traveling. And this is like a double-edged sword and something that fits into the monetization and really jars me in a way while I'm playing the game because it's like the world being such a good thing about New World and yeah. the you being in it and existing in the world is great and traversing the world. One of my favorite things about this game is that I can log on and I can say, I'm going to go do that quest over there in that zone and I'm going to start running. And before I get there, I'm probably going to see something and I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to go check that out. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, yeah, you'll want to go over here. And oh, take there's detours. more iron over there. Now I'm going to go refine it. Now I'm going to go make some armor. Now I'm going to go make some new weapons. And two hours later, I could be nowhere closer to doing what I set out to do. But yep. it's not obtrusive. It's not like I feel like I wasted my time because it's all contributing to the progression of my character. Crafting exactly. feels good because I get better things to use. Uh, and my skills are going up, which means I'm going to be able to craft more better things later on. feels like at all times during the game, you can just choose a gear. Am I in first? Do I just want to chill? Do I want to just go chop some trees I'm and, gonna, and half AFK and fuck around? Or do I want to, you know, go into fifth and turn PvP on and go and, you know, get my ass beat? Uh, it it really feels like it rewards you for just doing what you want to do and just exploring yeah. and and feeling the game out. I think that's great. But the problem is with that, it feels that way now, but you're really going to want to run on foot like five zones over in 100, 200, 300, 400 hours of playtime when you've done the things in the world and you've maxed your skills and you're like, you know, I don't need to do this stuff anymore. Probably not, right? You're probably going to want to travel faster. And this is where mounts usually come in, right? Because yeah. mounts would allow you to circumvent the world, the navigation a little bit, but still keep you in the world. And so mm -hmm. other players could see you. And that's a big thing MMOs do badly, by the way. If you look at, say, World of Warcraft, where it used to be a ma major focus of being in the world, and you'd go into a zone and you'd see a bunch of people because the leveling experience mattered and there was reasons to be in those zones and out in that world. And then later on in the game, you could level boost. You could um dun dungeon crawl the whole way you could just yeah. not be in the world there was so many shards and things like that that you'd go into these zones and they were dead and there was no reason to be there like you're gonna be go going and gathering like life root or whatever the fuck it was like back in elwyn forest or something when you're a max level character probably not so you're not going to see people and some games get around this with horizontal progression like elder scrolls online yeah where yeah. every zone scales to you or you scale to every zone where, so basically you can be there regardless of your level and it makes it look like the world is um, populated which is a decent way to do it but not a big fan of horizontal progression with new that. world you can definitely tell that people are going to elect not to be in the world later on due to the existence of fast travel right like if you've got yeah. a choice between oh, i've already been through all these zones i've seen everything i don't need to gather any of this stuff 
and I need to go from point A to point B, I'm going to fast travel. And it circumvents the world. And this is an issue not only because of fast travel not fitting into the, the overall feeling of the game, but because that's going to be monetized. And they've said as much. They said that they are planning to or considering selling fast travel. Now, then when you look at the game... I really hope they don't sell fast travel. If they sell fast travel, the game is going to be in a very bad state. Pay to teleport? Yeah, you use this bullshit resource to teleport. And it, it's just like... What they need to do, because movement in the game is too slow, like traversing from one place to another is too slow. Here's what I think they should do. You have a stamina bar in New World. I think that you should be able to, the same as you can in any almost other game, you run as you deplete your stamina bar, and then you stop running, or you sprint, and then you go back to a run after your stamina bar is over. You don't need mounts. I actually don't think the game needs mounts. I don't. I think it would make the game too small. I genuinely believe that. Unless they make the scope of the game much larger, I think that the scope... The game is designed at its very core to not be intended for mounts. People are going to buy this thing. And logically being consistent, if it's in the shop and there's design around it within the yeah. game, it's there for a reason. They're not putting it in there because they believe nobody's going to sell it. And obviously this is a concern for later down the line, but I just think like you can spot in game design wise that sometimes you feel like you can kind of see this uh, for what it is, which is a problem. It's not the biggest problem in the world, but I did think it was worth mentioning. My main problems with the game is like the elevation based combat. Like if you played Valheim, this was a big problem in that game. If you're on middle level and something's below or above you very, very slightly, You'll swing, you'll use an ability, and it will just completely miss. It'll go through the hitbox, it'll not do fuck all. And it feels like that's going to feel bad, man, in PvP. Like if somebody yeah. is slightly above or below you, and then you use a skill and it goes on cooldown for 20 seconds or whatever, but they don't use a skill and then they get on top of you and they use their skills. It just, it's a recipe for, mm -hmm. you know, just feeling hard done to by the game, not being as, as crisp as it should be in that regard, True which is something real. that needs addressing, as well as. You guys have probably noticed this because everyone can tag a mob by hitting it. Um, everybody does, which means that if yeah. there's one person stood next to a creature attacking it and two or three people come up to hit it, they all just start like swinging into each other's hitboxes and it just start, starts going like janky with the animations and fucking like rubber bandy, which obviously doesn't look or feel good in any kind of way. And the other thing being that the crafting in the game is fucking great. The crafting is great, but the problem is, is that items don't leave the economy. So you craft something amazing once you get to like 200 skill and you craft something really good. It's mm -hmm. like your best in slot or whatever. You then have no need for crafters until new content comes out, which is, I don't know. It, it just feels like, I don't know specifically what they could do here because usually the balance for this would be to have items leave the economy via durability or something or something break in. But the developers clearly don't want you to lose things. They don't want you to experience loss. That's why. Yeah, I, I don't know really what they should do with that. I have no idea. But what I do think is that uh, they do have a way to remove items from the economy with like the community board where you can turn things in and get experience. So there's always a reason to have different items and to turn them in. I think that's a big, uh, a big po positive positive consumables yeah sharpening stones etc but what he's saying is like end game good items because once somebody gets enough of those hatchets or whatever like the scarcity of them becomes so little that everybody just has the best gear in the game basically and there's no real sense of chase anymore like there has to be those chase items like path of exile does this really well with having things like headhunter etc that take you a very long time to get and if MMOs don't have that, they lose their feel and they lose their vibe very quickly. It's kind of like how like in Classic WoW or like Burning Crusade especially. Classic WoW had a few legendaries that took a long time. But like with Burning Crusade, you were able to just get all of the gear. There was nothing that you had to work towards. You didn't have to work towards anything. You just got the gear and you completed the raid and that was it. Like there's nothing like that. It's like an ongoing endeavor in the same way that like even Thunder Fury kind of was. So I'm not sure what they can do. But this is, it would be a real shame for crafting to feel and and be so good and then not be very prevalent in the late game once people have already got the things that they want. 
but that's the thing that most MMOs have, theme park MMOs in particular. Uh, so it's probably not the biggest concern in the world, but most MMOs don't really have good crafting, and New World does, which is why I'm kind of bothered by it. Yeah. But aside from that, like most of the things that I thought they needed to do to the game, they've done. Oh, optimization. Optimization we have to talk about. Um, it's just not that good. Uh, with a really good computer, I'm not getting the best performance in high graphics with 1440p. And yeah, if you play New World the 1390 or 3090, you need a new graphics card. That's basically what happens. But yeah, obviously the game is very ambitious graphics-wise, especially for like an open world game with like, uh, you know, MMO combat and seeing players around, etc. So yeah, it's kind of hard to run for a lot of PCs. But then when you get into a town and there's like 100 people in there and you've got 40 yeah. FPS, or if you got into a war and there's 100 people and you're at like 30, 40 FPS, which I assume that's what it's going to be like, that's not ideal. Uh, I know it's obviously a demanding game, it looks good, and there's going to be obviously problems with any game running 100 people together doing things, but hopefully they, they do manage to improve that a little bit, and yeah, I, I don't want people to feel like I'm banging on New World for no reason. I know most people won't do, but there are vocal uh, sector yeah. people that are like, specifically the New World community, that feels like for some reason I dislike this game and want it to fail and hate New World. Which is completely, completely false. There's no reason, there's no logical reason why I'd want a game to fail. I like New World. I've always liked the idea of New World, and I want the game to do well, which is why I voice my criticisms and concerns, so that hopefully they listen. And I'm obviously not going to be able to take credit for them changing things. But like I said at the start of the video, most of the things that I had problems with, which I think was common sense problems like a year and a half ago, have been pretty much solved they've solved pretty much everything i had issue with things. and yes i don't know if they listen to the videos i know a lot of the yes, issues they are things improved a lot many things. people have brought up over time but i have to believe that bringing up things that i think are problems are better to do because they see they seem like they want to listen and they seem like they want to do the right thing and make the game as good as they can so hopefully these are some things that are going to be addressed and specifically if i had to pick out of everything the best thing about new world is the social elements and just being in the world and feeling like you're part of it. I and agree. the worst thing is probably the the fast travel. I just don't like it. I wish there was mounts. Uh, I know they'd probably be hard to balance mm -hmm. for PvP and stuff. Maybe there's a conversation to be had there about what you could do, yeah, what I would agree be the best that. action going forward. Definitely agree with that. But that's how I feel about New World so far. I'm really, yeah. really enjoying the game. I honestly, I don't want to not play it. When I was sick yesterday and, and I didn't want to get out of bed, there were times where I was like, ah, I don't feel too bad right now. Maybe I could get up and play a little bit in New World. And I've not felt that way about an MMO in a long fucking time. So credit to them on that. The game feels good. It's not going to be for everybody. It shouldn't be for everybody because if it was, it'd be fucking trash. It'd be boring. It'd be too baseline. That is oh, true. one more thing I can talk about. I love the fact that this game is difficult. Like, this might seem like is a it? bit of an elitist a attitude or something, but... Is it? You know, different strokes for different folks. There's something out there for everybody. New World's not like Dark Souls, like I'm dying on every monster. I'm, these uh, big bosses just smashing my ass all the time. But it's not Elder Scrolls Online. It's not Retail WoW. It's not Final Fantasy XIV, where the content is designed to be like, everybody can do it baseline, and you'd have to like go AFK for more. I would disagree with this very strongly. I think that it is incredibly fucking easy. I, I think that New World is very, very fucking easy. Like, the abilities and the NPCs, like, I got fed loot. You are so dumb. On the first version of New World, the beginning of New World, we beat the last boss on our first try. And I think one person died. The, the, the problem with New World is there is no elite content. Like, WoW has elite content. They have Mythic rating and they have Mythic Plus. And with Final Fantasy, they have elite content with, like, Savage and Ultimate modes and Extreme and Unreal modes. But does New World have elite content? From everything that I've seen, I don't think it does. I would agree with Kira that the baseline for New World is probably higher than Final Fantasy XIV or for WoW with leveling. But that's comparing... Like a, a zero to a one on a scale of 10. They're both incredibly easy. In New World, shit can fuck you up real quick. Mm -hmm. And that's something that just feels good because it feels like I'm constantly having to 
pay attention and actually play the game. Otherwise, I'm going to waste my resources. I'm going to waste mm -hmm. my food that I don't want to use uh, to get in regen back. So it feels like you can play a little bit lazy when you've got much better gear and you're much higher level. Yeah, you But can. if you're doing anything current to Especially you... Especially if you have, like, heavy armor and shit. You have to actually pay attention and play the game properly, which you don't really have to do in a lot of games nowadays in, in the MMO genre, unless you're doing, like, end game stuff or stuff that's designed to be hard. It just feels like the game's designed to be at least middle, like, medium difficulty to hard by default yeah. all the time. So... Yeah, thank you very much for watching either way. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully some of you guys see where I'm coming from with some of this stuff. And I'm really looking forward to playing more New World. If you want to come check me out, Twitch link in the video description. Might be live tonight. You never know. Roll the dice. Uh, check out my other social links. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those things. We're getting close to 100k subscribers. That'd be sick all to right, get to. Yeah. And yeah, that? thank you very much as always for the support. Appreciate you all. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace. I feel like there's a lot of people in the chat that are coping. Uh, there's a lot of people in the chat that are coping about the fact that they're dying to different wolves and bears and stuff in New World by saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys are really coping on this. Yeah, listen, I, I, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing, man. It's the same people as Classic. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's sad for me to say.